Hi, my name is Holly Jackson. Today we're going to be exploring Apple Clips. Apple Clips is an app that can be used to create short videos that you can edit quickly. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also give us feedback by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to start um, by downloading the Apple Clips app to my iPad or iPhone. When I open it, you'll see that you have many options at the bottom. You can record a scene, a camera, library, or posters. The scenes will only be there if you're using a new iPad Pro or a newer iPhone. I'm going to start with a poster. So first, I'm going to click a poster that I like. Notice that these are different types of title slides. So I'm going to pick one of the vintage ones. And I'm going to change the text by tapping on it. And I'm going to make a video for our EdTech Task Force poster sessions that we just had. I'm going to tap Apply when I'm finished. And then the thing about Apple Clips is you have to record your clip. So how to do that is to click on the big pink button right here. So I'm going to record a short clip of my title slide. Notice that there's an animation that goes with the clip. When I recorded it, you see that it loaded down here on my timeline. If I hit play, you're going to hear my voice recording. So in order to get rid of that, I'm going to tap on my clip and mute it. That way I just have a clean title slide with no recording. All right, so I'm going to tap done in the top left corner and I'm going to add some content. So I'm going to go to my library where I have some content saved and I'm going to add a picture so I can animate the picture and make it do things so that it's more of a video. Um, I wanted to capture this scene because it showed how many people were at our poster session. So I'm going to size it. I'm going to add some effects by tapping on the star. You can add a filter to change the look of it. So I'm going to make it look kind of vintage because that seems to be my theme. You can add labels and you can add stickers and emojis. So I'm going to type a label here. This is getting started. And I'm going to tap apply and then I can move it to anywhere that I'd like. I'm also going to add a sticker with an exclamation point and put it beside the getting started. All right, so now I'm going to click the X. I'm going to record this, this clip by tapping the big pink button. All right, so it added it to my timeline below. I'm going to tap on library again. I'm going to tap on a video this time. And notice that it applied the same filter, but this time I don't want that filter. So I'm going to click on the star, I'm going to tap on filters, and I'm going to go to the original. I'm going to add a sticker or two to liven it up some. Maybe an arrow. And notice I can turn these and move them around by pinching and pointing in the direction. I want to point toward the robots that they're using. All right, I'm going to tap the X. Now I have to record again. It, you're probably wondering what that little caption bubble is on the left of the pink button. Those are called live titles. So if I turned that on, it would um, kind of do like a closed captioning. It would record everything that people were saying, and you can edit that um, in the clip. But I'm just going to record this. So I have a clip of them playing with the Ozobot. I'm going to take the sound off of both of these. So I'm going to take the muted, um, I'm going to mute my recorded audio where I was just talking through that. But I'm going to leave the original audio with that. All right, I'm going to add just one more piece of content. Tap on library. And I have another video right here that I'll add. Get over here where they're working a little bit. So see, I can scrub to where I need to be. All right, so I recorded a little clip of them enjoying themselves. And I want to show you one more feature of the um, Apple Clips, and that's scenes. So if you're using a newer iPad or iPhone, you might have that option for scenes. What scenes allows you to do is record yourself in a scene. So here I am, and I'm going to choose one of the Star Wars ones, since this is technology. I'm going to tap select, and then I'm going to record. Thank you so much for coming to our EdTech Task Force sessions. And then I'm going to come back to posters and add a poster that says the end or thank you. So I'm going to choose this one. And then I'm going to tap, thank you so much for coming. All right, and tap apply. And I'll record that last scene. All right, now I want music to play behind my whole video. So I'm going to tap the music icon in the top right hand corner. There are a lot of soundtracks that you can choose from in Apple Clips. I'm going to choose one that I already have downloaded. 
and I'm going to come back and tap done. Certain company? It's a uh, short as all that, I guess. Okay. Thank you so much for coming to our EdTech Task Force sessions. So is that easy for me to create? a quick video that I can share out. So to share it, I'm going to tap the share sheet in the bottom right hand corner. Notice that I can send it to just about anyone. I can also um, share it to my social media or save it to my device and um, share it out later. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.